What's going on guys, Chu here, bringing you another review on SAO. This episode, though it heavily and probably only focused on the Derek territory, it's good that we got to see how the enemy functions and you gotta feel bad, at least for what we saw last week's episode and seeing it now, it will never be. But it was a bit crazy, I will say, like we're seeing how how the is emperor all of a sudden can rally up against uh, rally all these people together for his return and we get to see his true nature like i did not expect this at all from miller well gabriel miller i guess that's would be his complete name we have another psychopath in sao and i think this may be the worst thus far because this person's real not like Quintella that we had seen previously, but almost like identical twins when it comes to their way of thinking. And we see that this person had a weird childhood. We dive into Gabe's uh, childhood when he's close to Alicia. He was interested in the souls, how they function. Uh, he thinks it's something like attainable, but it's just weird how like no one stopped him like he showed these signs early on as a child and having a, the only childhood friend that we see he hurts her and to the point to where he kills her uh, just out of the interest of knowing where the soul is and strange enough like we get to see how like her soul left I, that part confused me but it seems that him being able to finally see her soul through her eye like through his eyes he sees like the memories and whatnot this only made his fascination of souls even greater like this guy just not stop like we hear him actually say in the episode that he had started off with alicia but then he continued on with other people which were failed experiments and you wonder how long has he actually been doing this like this person is crazy like you think that you know someone would stop him or maybe it's something that he doesn't show i i don't know but we have him or emperor vecta now along with vasago having all of these forces all around him and seeing that what they he had to say and everyone was in, in like i guess in accordance to his plans all of course uh, Sash, uh, Sashta or Sa Shasta, I believe his name was. <laughs> if it's Shasta, that's a soda brand. And we have Lepia as well. And you gotta feel bad for the girl. Like, Lepia, you, we only cared for Lepia right now when it came to the Dark Territory. She seemed like the only good along with Shasta. These two wanted peace, and unfortunately, Vecta got in the way of that uh, and it, it sucks because it was bad timing they knew that things were going to be bad we hear the conversation that they had previously where Shasta wanted to you know give his case to Bercoli and hoping that they would be able to have peace that thinking that that would be the best choice to have to have the dark territory of course they would have had opposition but now that they have the emperor this is not going to be happening and we see that Basago and Vecta having their conversation at night, I guess at their, I guess, kingdom or uh, castle. We have them actually talking to the outside world freely, which is something that I wish we had that had with Kirito. And maybe that would have held out a lot more, not until like the very end. But we have them freely communicating and remembering the, the objective of obtaining Alice's cube or Fort Light. But then, of course, it gets even worse in the episode where we have Lepia trying to seduce Vecta, which ultimately fails because her intention was to kill him. And in an unfortunate turn of events, we see that she, kills, she is killed and he is able to take in her soul as well which is like a pure ecstasy for him and seeing her memories of Shasta and it's just very hard to see bittersweet honestly 
very uh, saddening for me personally to watch this happen. Like, it would have been great to have seen these two uh, together. Uh, obviously, there's a difference in age, but I mean, sometimes it's like that. Not saying anything weird here, but I'm just saying. We have then, like, moving on. Uh, how he was able to see her soul, which I've already discussed, but we see the next day how Vecta actually explains that, you know, you can always come at me. I'm never going to hide, but do know that there are consequences to them. And we see that he brings out her head uh, in an ice cube, which I, I thought, man, could you not be any crueler, man? And he actually showing this he just makes this man go crazy. Shasta goes and he fails. Like that was insane. And everyone at the end just cheers. So it's crazy to see. And the wall is falling. Ugh, guys, I think that's it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I will catch you.